we'll get into both the mathematics and the practice of implementing systems using cryptography. But there's one thing I want to really emphasize and make sure that you understand. Implementing your own cryptography is, is very challenging. It's something that is very easy to do incorrectly. One example of that to keep in mind, and this is an important thing, so we, we often think about programs as black boxes with inputs and outputs, and our encryption functions will usually take a key and a message and produce some ciphertext. And the implementations we'll show in this class will be functionally correct. They'll produce the correct outputs. They won't be secure. And the reason they won't be secure is things aren't really black boxes when we use them. There's lots of other things that someone could observe about this. They could observe how long it takes. And when you can observe properties of a function other than their functional behavior, other than just their inputs and outputs, that's called a side channel. An example of side channel is timing. So the time it takes to run this function could vary. It could depend on the message or the key. Most of the code that we're going to write in this class will have that property. We're not going to be adding complexity to our code to worry about things like side channels. But in terms of implementing things correctly, that's really important. And there are lots of ways that code could have side channels. It could affect what's in the cache of the processor, and that could be visible in some way. It could actually affect how much power your processor uses. And people have shown ways to break smart cards by measuring the power consumption as they do encryption. And that gives you some insight into what the key is. So this is just an example of the kinds of things that it's very hard to get right in implementing cryptography. These are things that if you were building cryptography for any important use, you'd have to worry about. These are things we're not going to worry about in most of the code that we write in this class. So you shouldn't view these implementations as secure implementations. The only reason to implement your own crypto is for fun and learning. And that's what we hope you'll get from this class by doing it. But if you actually want to use cryptography to protect anything important, well, you should use a library implementation that's been carefully vetted, that's been written in a way to, to worry about these kinds of issues like si timing side channels, and that other people have looked at carefully enough to have some higher level of confidence that it's correct and secure. So I want to make sure everyone was paying careful attention to that last point. And we'll have a quiz. Should you use any code from this course to protect nuclear launch codes? The answers are no. Check the correct answer.